bacon, cured meats, red meat, the World Health Organization putting out that warning yesterday that had everybody going, oh my God, I can never eat bacon again. Yes. So when the World Health Organization looks at potential carcinogens, they just look at the uh, question as, it, as if it is a yes, no answer. So gotcha. can this possibly cause cancer? And they're saying that yes, it can possibly cause cancer. Or in the case of processed meat, yes, it can cause cancer. In the case of red meat, it probably causes cancer. It doesn't look at how strong it is, how potent it is at causing cancer, and it doesn't look at how much cancer it causes. So it is not as bad as smoking. And I know a lot of the headlines have said, oh, now red meat is as bad as it's smoking. It's just in the same classification as smoking, yes. which is that it is a carcinogen. Yes, yes. So but the risk of, you have to eat how much per day to increase your risk by? So for processed meat, you have to eat 50 grams per day. For red meat, you have to eat 100 grams per day, and that's a relative risk of about 17 to 18 percent, depending on whether we're talking about processed meat or red meat. Now, that's a relative risk, so we have to look at a difference between relative risk and absolute risk. For people in Canada, the risk of colon cancer is about 1 in 14 for men and 1 in 16 for women, so that's about a 6 to 7 percent lifetime risk of cancer. Right. And eating red meat every day or eating processed meat every day will increase that risk by 1 percent, so from 6 to 7 percent or from 7 to 8 percent. So balanced diet, everything in moderation. Yes. You can yeah. still have bacon, just don't have it as your massive food group on a daily basis. Exactly. The nutritional and dietary guidelines remain right. the same because we've known about this for a while that we shouldn't eat that much red meat. Indeed. 